Hello, Godspeed. This is the practitioner, Bachelor of Science student, Chemistry major, Mathematics minor, Magician and Parapsych researcher. I've watched your video uh, on the ball cap moving um, for the last three, four times now, and I think I finally figured out the secret to it. Um, there's another guy who's actually counting on me to debunk your video, so I'm going to do my best, and hopefully with this time, uh, this time it'll pay off. Um, I noticed, of course, your hand wasn't moving, so I disregarded loops as being the first obvious bet. However, um, uh, magnets, of course, are also uh, out of the option considering we see your hand in full screen. However, one of the things that I have noticed is the fact that we don't actually see your face during any of this time period. And um, it is what actually still be possible, regardless of that, though, for Magician's Thread to be used. All you need is you just simply need to wind up a faint spool of it around a top, and then as long as it's uh, you know held tight with Magician's Wax or something, all you have to do is just pull with your teeth, and as long as the thread doesn't break, you could uh, slowly unturn the cap that way. Um, there are certain high tensile uh, types of magician's thread out there that actually are uh, fit for the job. So, um, yeah. Uh, let's just say that um, I want to see you move your hand uh, completely over the bottle next time. Um, just to prove, uh, you know, move the, you know, like, like completely over the bottle. Like all the way around the bottle, 360 degrees. Just to prove that there's nothing uh, attached to it. Okay? Um, again, as I've said before on your previous videos, I suspect it's more magic tricks. If there really is something psychokinetic there, um, do it under tightened conditions just to prove it. This is the practitioner signing off.